So let's now have a look at some examples of doing a multiple linear regression in SPSS. The data file you want is uh, data13.2.sav so I'll save that there. Uh, but let's first of all look at the model that we're trying to test. Uh, it's best if there is some sort of theory or research question uh, or hypothesis-driven basis for the analysis. In this case, we're talking about uh, something called deterrence theory, which uh, is trying to predict somebody's likelihood of complying with the law on the basis of how certain somebody is uh, that they think it is that they will get caught. So how likely it is that do they think they um, that they will get caught for breaking the law and how severe do they perceive the penalties uh, are likely to be and the theory would suggest that the more certain you are and the more severe, severe you think the consequences are the more likely you are to comply with the law so let's load the data up And if we go to data view, we can see that we've got uh, 60 odd cases. Here's our dependent variable. Here's our two independent variables. And later on, we'll use this as a, a third dependent variable. Uh, now, it's a good idea to get to know our variables as univariate variables. So let's have a look at explore and put these three variables in and take the default output. So what we can mainly learn from here is to look at the skewness and kurtosis and if it's in the range of roughly uh, minus 1 to 1 in that range then that's quite tolerable uh, in terms of its deviation from normality and we can assume a somewhat normal distribution. We can see this also in the stem and leaf plots which are like histograms and in the uh, box and whisker plot there's no outliers sitting outside of the uh, whiskers for each case. So we have three fairly normally distributed variables. We can also look at scatter plots so graphs, legacy dialogues, scatter dot and we can put to start with the dependent variable on the y-axis and uh, one of the independent variables on the x-axis and we could use syntax to create the other two analyses that we need so severity here and we need certainty with severity here and then run those three and we're looking to make sure that there's no obvious non-linear pattern or no obvious presence of bivariate outliers To conduct the regression analysis, go down to Analyze Regression Linear, put the dependent variable into this box and the two independent variables into the independent box. It's then a matter of picking uh, the options that we want and these would include descriptives and possibly also confidence intervals, part and partial correlations collinearity statistics. For plots we'll get the histogram, the normal probability plot and we'll also plot the predicted uh, scores against the residual scores. In save check on Mahalanobis and Cook's distance and there's no need to change options.